I am the mighty text dot, and you will bow before me. We will shut down your streets and expose you to toxin dust. Okay, I wonder what's gonna happen in day four of this ordeal, y'all. Holla, it's Friday morning. I live, eat, and breathe social media, and I'm gonna be sending you guys something. My favorite thing in the world, cover letters. Die. My favorite thing to do is to take a 10-page CV and take it down to two pages in the world, people. Is this the water? Is that water? That's the water? Is that water? Yeah, baby, thank you. Not only do I live, breathe, eat social media, but I live, breathe, eat social media for San Marcos. And because I was such a good girl, I could go to the packet meeting now, y'all. Holla, San Marcos. Good afternoon, San Marcos. Everybody in the state, your name and your question. Hi, Lisa Raycock, by the San Marcos News Live. Thank you all for item number 20. This is just awesome work. Uh, number 15, I had a question about it. What's it for, and did y'all open up a bidding process? Because Texas State has a really bad track record with the bones, the Native American bones. So I, I, this is really cool. I was just wondering what this was about. Jared, or, uh, again, Lori, speak to that. Yeah, thanks. Um, the interlocal with Texas State was not opened up as a bid process. What this is, is one that's been in place almost for about a decade that allows city staff to contract with Texas State to do some of the archaeological requirements that we need to comply with under the um, state codes. We also use private firms at the same time. It depends on the project and the consultant doing it, but they are used in conjunction. It is. It does provide us the ability to use their services up to $200,000 a year. Um, our department, Engineering and CIP, uses it. Um, community services through Parks and Rec um, also tends to use them, as well as I think um, there has been some out of uh, the CDBG process has probably used a little bit of that. But anyway, it is um, it is a professional services contract and it was not uh, bid out. Okay, thank you very much. With that then, we have completed our business. Victory is mine, San Marcus. After a fourth wardrobe change, I'm now going to go play pool with an old school pool shark. He says long left and deuce in a side pocket. And he's a conspiracy theorist Republican. Shout out to Durango's in Wimberley, best ever. Only place I can get vegetarian rice and beans and an enchilada. I can't get in the fastest growing city, but I can in Wimberley at Durango's. And Marcus, there's nothing that gets on my nerves more than these people in Wimberley. La la la, we're shopping. But I had to stop, these trees called me. Look at these big daddies, y'all. I'm only in Wimberley for a spell. This is my friend Tim. He's an old school pool shark. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna talk conspiracy and pool in Wimberley. He's at the ri the bottom of the riverbanks here, so I could probably find an arrowhead. I'll oh. tell you what, we just need to start terminating people over in engineering. Literally, we need to start firing people who don't do their jobs because obviously they won't stand up to TxDOT. <laughs> TxDOT refuses to put up a sign to protect my neighborhood. They refuse, and the city won't stand up for hey, us. Marcus, Texas, TxDOT is refusing to put up a no cut through sign. I've got contractors going down my street. I've observed people snapping live oaks, 18 wheelers on the other side of Belvin. People want me to have an attitude adjustment. You're not getting it. I told you guys, you can get Lisa Marie or LMC. I'm tired of being under siege by TxDOT, and I'm tired of the city not standing up to these cats. I'm going to give you guys a hard time every time there's a project.